Good morning, shaving cadre. Handle Barber Dave here with Handle Barber Dave's Barbershop Shaves at Home. Uh, we're doing uh, a tribute shave today for two reasons. One, uh, for those of us that are really into Game of Thrones, uh, it will be starting in two weeks and uh, it's the final season, so uh, there's a lot of hype about it and uh, we're hoping it's going to be a great season. Secondly, unfortunately, uh, the big tribute is that to Captain's Choice North. Uh, I have not talked to Scott. I have read his press release stating that the reason why they're discontinuing it is due to lackluster sales, which really surprises me, uh, quite frankly, because to me, North is the best flavor he's got uh, by far. I know that the Bay Rum is nice and the Cat of Nine Tails, but to me, North is just the most unique. Um, it's in the Juniper family uh, of scents, and as most of you know, I am a huge Juniper fanatic, but this one is unique. Uh, it is the only one one that has it's hard to say it's almost got a burnt campfirey pine it's just wonderful it, it, it's the depth of this scent is uh, is phenomenal so I'm sorry to see this go I would definitely stock up on this uh, if there's any left I know that uh, KJ and I uh, did quite a bit and it's just fantastic so for the rest of the shave we're going to be using once again the north shaving soap we'll be using the north aftershave which is just tremendous uh like i said if you take a juniper berry and and, and cook it and, and burn it uh that's what it smells like it's it's fantastic but not being just that and in, in, in the juniper scent we're also going to top that with Club and Reserve Gentleman's Gin. This will add more of a almost a carbonated feeling to it. It'll lighten up. It'll add some lime to the juniper. And then finally, what I think is probably the best uh, juniper fragrance out there, and that is Penhaligon's Juniper Sling. Uh, it can be argued that it can be a little bit light. Just put more on. Uh, our brush today is going to be the Sorrentino uh, Barzini. Uh, this is done uh, just beautifully, and those stripes right there are, believe it or not, glow-in-the-dark. I felt that was good. It kind of represents the ice side of things. And then, of course, what would the Game of Thrones North Tribute Shave be without the Ice Dragon by Korat? Uh, my 6 eighths Damascus um, with the dragon front scales and everything else. So we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, just a reminder, uh, don't forget that our first annual TSC yard sale is going to be beginning on uh, April 1st. And it'll run through the 15th. And everything's, you know, other than alcohol, tobacco, and firearms, uh, everything that you want to get rid of on your swap meet table, start getting ready. Uh, most of the folks will be uh, taking pictures and posting threads. Uh, there will be a, um, a yard sale thread where you can post everything. Uh, but some people won't, and you don't have to have pictures. It certainly will help. Now, a lot of the spouses out there are already worried that all we're going to be doing is trading stuff back and forth. And, okay. That's a possibility, but um, you're going to get a lot of good deals. Um, so that's that's going to be a lot of fun. The captain's the captain's choice products are always wonderful, wonderful soaps. They're easy to lather. I think this has been about 20 seconds uh, or so, and there's plenty of uh, soap in the tub. So we'll go ahead and get started. Just a little bit of lather on the face. Rinse this on. We're going to forego our hot towel today and do a complete cold water, a cold water shave for obvious reasons. It's hard to describe how North feels on the face. It's uh, it's cool. But it's warm at the same time, if that makes sense. It lathers beautifully. Very pillowy, very, very nice. Um, it does take a lot of water, in my opinion, uh, to get the lather exactly where you want it. Um, I had put up a thread in uh, CBL's store about uh, a Game of Thrones uh, soap. 
And, of course, I know we already have one called Fire and Ice. It's the Dragon's Blood, which is tremendous. Um, but to me, Chris, if you're listening, if you could do a clone of this soap or something similar to it, this would be the perfect because it's got that burnt smell of fire and then it also has that juniper coolness and uh, almost an icy quality even though i don't think there's any menthol in this um but it's got an icy quality to it that uh, to me would make this north the perfect uh game of thrones soap and who knows maybe scott will uh either give us or give somebody the recipe um, since he's not going to be making it anymore. I know that uh, when Baker Street went out a uh, strop shop, I think somebody took that over, I believe. I'm not sure if I think that was Sterling. I'm not sure, to be honest with you. And yes, it's hard to believe, but I've never tried Baker Street. Okay, the strop is, or the razor's already been stropped. Now we'll go ahead and get started. Also, the one thing I'll say about uh, North is uh, it's a journey. And what I mean by that is there's so many complex notes going on that during the shave, as you're adding the, the water and, and scraping the lather, that it uh, it's beautifully nice. Okay, starting at this point, not to bore you, you've seen me straight shave a bunch of times, I'm going to fast forward through the second pass and most of the third pass, so we'll see you on the other side. Okay, we're back. The time warp is done. The scent does stick around um, a little bit uh, after the shave. Uh, now, as is traditional with most of uh, Captain's Choice... Uh, uh, aftershaves they uh, they're wonderful uh, they do 
at least for me, they light me up a little bit, which is okay. And of course I say that, and this time, not at all. Like I said, you have that juniper, you have that campfire. It's just a, it's a tremendous, tremendous aftershave. I'm really bummed out that it's leaving. Okay, we're gonna follow that with the Gents Gin. And this will just bring out the juniper a little bit. But it plays well with it. what kind of barbershop shave whether it be at home or in the barbershop would be the same without some talc and it does look like mr. Murphy showed up a little tiny weeper there so I will grab my alum stick real quick should take care of it put some powder over the top of that again and then we'll finish up with Penhaligon's uh, juniper sling now I'm a little bit more liberal with this than uh, than most because I agree it can be very very light so that's it shaving cadre thank you for watching that's been Dave's barbershop Handle Barber Dave's Barbershop Shaves at Home. Boy, that's a tongue twister. You guys have a great Friday and a great upcoming weekend.